So back for um, another little bit of a hobby chat. Uh, this time you can see that my desk is absolutely covered in baggies. That's because the um, pledge from the latest Burris and Badgers Kickstarter from my Oath Sworn Miniatures, sorry there, uh, is uh, finally on the table. Uh, and I just thought it would be nice to go through, do a little bit of an unbagging and uh, have a look at all these. So we're going to start with... This is the dark collection. So this is a whole bunch of undead stuff. Maybe this bag rustling can be a little bit of ASMR, who knows. So we've got this rather awesome looking sort of like white wildcat. I think it's really cool. Um, if anyone has played Warhammer Fantasy Battles, then they will be immediate, immediately familiar with the style of this miniature based a little bit on Krell from uh, Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Looking very cool. The uh, This is a stable ghast, I think they're called, in the game. Uh, so this is one that has been constructed and is able to gain experience and such alongside casters and the like. So that's one miniature. Then we have, I think it's a spellcaster here, which is pretty cool. So here is a bat necromancer or a bat witch i guess you'd say really nice metal sculpt i love how it's all just one piece as well it means you can just play around with it and have fun and uh get painting really really quickly rather than having to worry too much about glue a little bit of flash here and there but not too bad you can sort all that out with a knife and uh away you go as it were so, yeah nice one there will keep things up. I think a lot of the dark stuff is ghasts, so mist ghasts as they're called. So we have one of them here, looks a little bit like, I want to say like a shrew or a mouse, I think. Although that tail, I think it's a shrew or a mouse, yeah, looking pretty cool, very nice. Going to be nice and easy painting those up, I will say. Then we check out... Ooh. Another towering stable ghast there. Bones and such showing through the armour. So there must have been a lot of research going into the anatomy of a lot of these wild animals, I think, from Michael. Um, but yeah, very cool seeing that come together. Going to be really awesome for those people that want to make undead style warbands. Let's keep going. There's a lot of these to get through, so here we have a bird get mist gassed. So you've got the balefire wings there, as you can see. There's the armor, which will be nice and easy to paint up rusty. And then you've got the beak there as well. Very cool. I think this one's a neat little favorite. Uh, this one is a mole ghast. <laughs> so there's a little tiny mole poking out of his hole, with his hand outstretched, his undead hand outstretched, and the bale fire following up from below. Very neat. Then we continue through, and we have this particular fellow. Thinking maybe more of like a squirrel, maybe, or it might still be a mouse with the way that the tail's been done there. I do have a sheet that tells me what all of these are, um, but I'm just winging it. I'm winging it, <laughs> and we'll see where it goes from there afterwards. Keep on going. Do the do do. Awesome, sort of like a little bit of like a barrow guard, perhaps. Uh, maybe this was a character that was buried alongside his master many moons ago and uh, has now been risen from the dead to fight alongside him once more. Nearly through all of the dark stuff. Next up, we have uh, the Necratomancer himself. I'm going to really enjoy working on this guy. Very um, awesome idea. Uh, and it is going to be the subject of the next sort of narrative campaign, I think, that Michael and Oath Sworn are doing. So, very nice. Love the hat detail, love the facial details, 
going to be really fun painting the cloak and doing some sort of quirky, weird, dark scheme with him. Maybe a little bit of object source lighting from below or something. That guy really enjoyed it, if you heard that on the video. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, yes. Big one. Big one, big one, big one. So this is a pretty awesome looking... I think it's a fox, this one. Yeah, so... Again, Balefire down the sword, Balefire tail, Balefire creeping way its way up all the way through the miniature there. Skull, armour, and the shield as well. Going to be cool mounting that on a base later. Then we move on to this rather badass looking hair. So let's take a close look at this one. Very cool. I think this is one of the first ones that was previewed, and I really enjoyed the look of this one. Um, again, nice swirling magical vortex below him, which is points to the mouth is a little bit different from the rest of the miniatures, which is neat. And then finally, for the dark selection, we have this fellow, who definitely is a squirrel because of that tail there. You can see the face sort of there in the detail too. The big Balefire sword. Looking very nice. So, with that out of the way, I think we're going to move on to the... Let's do the... Uh, what are they called? The Devout, I think it is. So we'll leave that till later. And we're going to do one of the big resin miniatures first. So this is the massive Beaver Abbot, who is just immense to give you an idea of scale that's how he sits next to one of the smaller miniatures absolutely insane but the detail on that is superb a lot of it's come through from the original sculpt a nice tail detail there the fur going to be interesting deciding exactly how i'm going to approach painting him and what colours to use because there's a lot to deal with there. Move him over there. Let's go for this one next. Here we have a little tiny mouse with a spear who is either stabbing someone on the cross or is actually going to be herding a bunch of bugs. So there's a couple of these that I will show off. Just one. So this is one of like hunting bugs that they've got in the world of burrows and badgers. Uh, so this sort of like crawls along and hunts down their prey, a little bit like a dog or something in the game, uh, in their game world. Um, looking very cool. Going to do that up in like pinks and purples, maybe I think. There's a couple of those that came in the set. So there's another one there. Move that over. Here we have like I'm going to say like a monk, I guess, or a priest. So you've got a very devout looking. Fox there. Oh, man, really love all the, the weight of these is immense. And uh, yeah, going to be fun showing those all off on part, as part of, part of my collection later. Going to make the shelf grow a little more. But yep, yeah, very nice looking foxy lady. Then, we move on. There's so many talk about it. Have I done that one? I haven't done that one. Move that over. <laughs> this is possibly... One of my favourite miniatures from the set. Absolutely love this guy. I think I'm going to paint up him, the Necromancer, and probably some of the Grubs first, I think. Um, I just think that guy, this guy's amazing. Love the look of him. I was a big fan of Witch Hunters back in the day with Mordheim, and that's obviously had a massive influence on this selection of miniatures that Michael sculpted. Um, really cool looking miniature there. Uh, it's going to be fun to paint up. Going to maybe go a little bit more grim dark with him, I think, like I've done with one of my characters before. Couple more of the uh, the witch hunters. So here's another one of the kind of like flagellants, I guess you'd say, running around with a big old flail there. Nice and simple to paint in reality. Robe, fur, weapon, done. Obviously, you can spend a bit more time on them, if you like, but um, if you're someone who wants to dive right into the gaming, then that's where you go. We also have this 
really badass looking hedgehog witch hunter who again is going to be a prickly customer ha 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 uh, have him alongside the otter and uh, you are away amazing detail once again love the hammer for driving stakes into nasty undead creatures and then here is another one of the grub herders as I'm going to coin them struggling with with uh, a grub as it no doubt has sought out its prey somewhere in the darkness and the ruins of Northumbria very cool looking miniature there uh, then another pack which I'm not going to open up but we got a whole bunch of sort of shields and stuff that were unlocked so gonna stick these to the back of a bunch of miniatures or maybe just use them as sort of like set dressing for some terrain or something i think very cool to get some extras in there neat stuff then last of all quickly we'll go through these we have the heroic stuff so leading the way another resin miniature the puffin pirate which had been asked for many many times on the facebook group and now it is a reality um, got to have to work out exactly how to paint puffins, I think, uh, before we try that guy out. Then we have, oh man, I do love some mice, and it would be really nice to do a mouse, or an all-mouse warband, I think. But we've got like a mouse swashbuckler there, drawing his sword, getting ready to fight the enemies who have besmirched his honour. You can imagine him fighting his way through ranks of guards or rats or something on a pirate ship and hunting them down. Very uh, Errol Flynn. We have this fellow here. So we've got another Mole, 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 who is drawing forth his sword to do battle. Now we had a Mole um, Miner before, but it's nice to have like a Mole Warrior there that we can show emerging from the ground, use him in a narrative sense. Or maybe in an actual gaming sense, and uh, just have him as part of your warband. Very cool. They do spend a lot of their time underground, uh, chasing around enemies on the board. Very good for securing objectives. We have another grub there. So I'm just going to shut that one off in the bag. Because this one belongs to the hunter, which we'll find in a little bit. I actually think I've just seen one of my other favourite miniatures. I, I'm changing my favourite miniature all the time. Here we have one of the town guards. So this is like a bunny... Uh, a rabbit town guard or a hare town guard probably more of a rabbit i think um with his bum sticking out the uh <laughs> the tunic there um this is good there's going to be a lot more of these popping up over the next couple of months i think uh, i think michael's working on doing some more town guard and gangs and stuff but um very cool looking miniature there as well we'll leave him to last because he's my f he's another one of my favorites that i alluded to a second ago we have another one for those who want to make clan mod, uh, clan warbands. Uh, so this is your sort of cat from the highlands with a set of bagpipes, a sporran at the ready. Um, I have almost a full clan warband at the ready, so I'll probably end up working out a way to add this feline um, fiddler, I guess, into the uh, marching order. Very nice. Maybe good if you're going to be doing some stuff with the sports game or something. Have this as like a sideline musician. That'd be really cool. Here we have another rabbit. Another very cool miniature. Very grim dark. Uh, it's got the patch over his eye, the floppy ear. Could also be, actually I think this is more of a hair. I think. Uh, but yeah, sword at the ready, clasped in two hands, ready to smash things, where and turn them into paste, as it were. Strikes me as a little bit of a mercenary. Obviously, of course, with a narrative game like this, you can do whatever the hell you like and play around with it. So this is one of the hunters, which you can add. And as you can see, you've got a little fly there that he uses in place of like a hawk, I guess, in this world, um, as everything is animals. Uh, but this is another hunter that you can throw into the mix. Um, comes with the grubs, so you can have them running around hunting down individuals. Perhaps hunting down the witch hunters who are persecuting the townsfolk and stuff. Very nice. Going to do him in some nice greens and browns, I think. I think it'll look really good with a little splash of yellow in the ripped doublets and stuff. So, yeah. Very nice. The slashed silks, I think I should say. Another big miniature here. Here, that would be a form of... If a 
get her out of the bag or him out of the bag. Big badass wall, uh, fox knight. That really cool looking helm there, which covers the snout. Tail sticking underneath. Big flowing cloak. Going to be cool. Oh, got the symbol there as well on the axe. Very nice. Two more to go. So we have this toad shaman or toad hunter. So if you're going to be doing something based off the latest, uh, or is it a frog? I can't remember. I'll look at the list afterwards and I'll be able to know for sure. But um, this hunter here who would be really good for those people doing wildling clans as were available in the latest Oathsworn journal. Looking really awesome there. I think it's more of a frog, I think. And then I think this is probably going to be the other miniature that I'm going to paint up quickly. And this is a Badger Ranger. So looking really awesome again in resin. Comes with that massive longbow or just a normal bow to him, I would guess. Comes with his traveling accoutrement on his back. Uh, this will be the, I'm just going to check. Third or fourth badger I think they've done. I think it's the fourth. Maybe the fifth that you can count the slave badger. Um, but yeah, very awesome looking. And very good for those people that want to try and make a solely badger based warband in your games. Put all these together and uh, got a very nice set. So, as well as um, that, the kit store obviously came with all the bases, which are handily labelled. <laughs> and then we have the list. Oh, the camera's going to go a bit whiffy. So we had the list there, which you can see. So you had all the different ghasts, mouse, shrews. Oh, there you go. So it was shrews and mice. You've got fox, hare, bird, squirrel, otter, wildcat as the stable ghasts, and then the two necromancers. Then we had the beaver deacon, sorry. Beaver deacon. The ot ot uh, Otter, Witch Hunter Captain, Fox Illuminator, that's what they were. The Zealot there as well with the Weasel Wolf swinging it around. The Hedgehog Witch Hunter, the Grub Handlers, and some spare shields as well. And then last, obviously, we had the rest of them. So we had the Fox Knight, the Puffin Captain that we saw big before. Another Hare Warrior, so it was a Hare. Badger Ranger, the Hill Folk, the Clan Piper, the Frog. Yep, the Frog. And then a Mouseketeer, some Road Wardens and all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, very nice stuff. Was once again really, really well handled by the folks at um, Oathsworn Miniatures. They put together a really good campaign, showing off some really nice miniatures. Was an, an all-in of about 100-ish, I think, maybe, for all of this. Um, I'll put some details down in the comments below and have some links and stuff as well. If you're into things like Redwall um, and you want to um, maybe put together a really cool force on the tabletop, then Burrows and Badgers is really good. Uh, there is a full rule book um, that you'll be able to pick up. And there is also uh, supplements and an entire miniatures range that uh, is available for you to dive into. This is just the cream of the crop from the top and the latest Kickstarter. But there are lots, lots more for you to go and check out over on their web store. That will also be linked down below. Um, I'll also have some links to my blog where I talk about um, Burrows and Badgers, getting into the game, making your first warband, building tables that kind of stuff. Um, so make sure to go and check that out and uh, let me know if this is something you'd like to see me do more of. Um, I think it'd be really cool to maybe shelf some of these paintings when they're done, uh, just go through them and talk about the hobby. I have a lot to do now. <laughs> I have all my Warhammer Underworld stuff. I have these guys to now paint. There is going to be a lot of hobby to be done over the next few months. Um, I think I'm going to start with this guy oh, or maybe the, the Otter Witch Hunter. He'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how it all comes together and I will talk to you guys and gals very, very soon. Hope you like the look of these. And uh, yeah, Burrows and Badgers are great. I will never stop talking about it. <laughs>